guys welcome back um today's video is going to be um empty house tour for our new house that we um just moved in in um at the beginning of may this year um, i did have a video from our previous home um, from last year empty house tour and i will link that video down below if you wanted to go see that um but we were um fortunate enough to be able to sell that house and um, get a house built out here in San Antonio. Um, so that's what we went ahead and did. I can make a separate video about the process itself from start to finish. If that's something that um, you guys would wanna see, I can do that as well. But today is just gonna be a tour of the empty house. Um, and we did build through in my homes. I, I'm not sure if they're everywhere, but they're here in Texas the builder in my home. Um, we started the building process in December. That's when they officially started um, with the foundation. And then it was complete in April. We closed at the end of April and moved in beginning of May. So that's the timeline for our particular house. It is just a one story house, about 2,100 square feet, um, three official bedrooms, two bathrooms um, and then two they call them flex spaces and i'll show you that as well that's kind of the the ballpark of, of what we have here um kind of similar to our old house it's pretty close in um size that way but we just need a little bit more space considering we had um the baby on the way so yeah the um the footage is going to be like i said back from may when we closed on the house um and i was um about seven months pregnant, so way pregnant in the footage. Um, like I said, if there was anything that you guys wanted to know about the process itself from for being able, to, you know, from building um, from the ground up, that is something that you guys can definitely ask if you know you're interested. And I can make another video as well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I hope you enjoyed the house tour. Terrible camera person. I can You're see dead. already. Are you getting a full shot? So this is our new house. Um, yeah, I don't know. So you can turn around and kind of show us where we're at the front door. This is the foyer area. Um, that's the front door there. And then um, you know, this takes you straight to the rest of the house. And if we go to the right. This is the uh, extra bedroom. So first we have the um, guest room. We're just we're just gonna make that here. We have, don't really have any special plans for it, but we didn't want the front room to be for the baby. So a nice little closet. I'm sure this looks ridiculous. Are you like panning up and down? One thing that we like is the the blinds here. We have like the, the push up. Come on, that's all we do with the yeah the push up one. That's nice. It's not easy to pull down. Okay, so we're not doing that. You gotta do it on both sides, bro. Anyway, moving moving along. Um, little hallway, and then we have the the guest bathroom right here. Your standard bathroom, we didn't get any special upgrades for the bathroom. But look right here, look at this. This crack is right there. Just a dollar. Yep, yeah, it's coming off the mortgage. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we have this nice little bathroom. And then um, this room is going to be the baby's room. Um, What's the baby's name? We don't know her name yet. We have, two, we have two options. So this is gonna be our room. We're really happy to go ahead and like get everything settled, start ordering stuff for her. She has the same the same size closet as the, the guest room. Um, I think these rooms are basically the same size. Um, not huge, 
not a huge room, but yeah. it's it'll do. And then if we go back out to the the main foyer area, once again, if you walk a little further and turn to the left. that we have here. We plan to use this area um, as the dog's room. We're gonna get this carpet taken up so we can have like some, maybe the same floor as the this right here. Maybe we'll just get that extended into here or some type of tile um, so the dog will stay there. We did have the option of making this into a third bathroom, um, but we just really wanted to use the space for the dogs. So that's why we did that anyway. And this room is just a, um, it's considered a flex space. As you can see, there's no door. Um, there's no door into here. Um, We're rolling. All right, so this is um, You're supposed to introduce me to considered a flex a flex room. Um, like I said, we had the option to upgrade like this room and the closet into a like bedroom bathroom combo with the closet and a door and all that. But we really wanted to use that closet, like I said, as a room for the dogs. So we just kept it as is. And then Chandler wanted to use this room for a main cave anyway, so we didn't need a closet. It wasn't a big deal. So we left it like that. And then back to like the main hallway, we have a little thermostat here. Um, if you look to the right, there's a chandler. If you're, if, if you're gonna like pan something, pan what I'm saying, and not after. Like here's the here's the uh, therapist that five minutes later <laughs> you show the therapist. <laughs> you don't then, pay me enough. This is the uh, another flex space that they call. I mean, it's technically like a formal dining room, but we're going to use it as like um, office space slash playroom space, and I'll have um, like the pull-out couch or a day bed or some type of additional sleeping area for our guests. So that's kind of what we're gonna do in this area. Computer set up across this way, couch set up across this way. And then right across, we just have a- Spare closet. Uh, Close closet, which is, you know, normal. It's good to have though. Um, and then if you go down a little more, there's the laundry room, which is you know, a good size laundry room, I think. Um, nothing special about that. And then we are walking to basically the rest of the house. This is the like grand area of the um, So this living room, dining room, and kitchen area all in one. Why are you following me like that? Um, anyway, yeah, so then we got the double sink. Uh, it did come with the washer and the dryer. I like you washing dishes. Oh yeah, so oh, the you package can't. that we got came with the, the same was like the, the base package comes with the, the wood cabinets and the all black appliances. Um, then once you go up a step, you get the the bigger cabinets, the 42 inch, and then you get to pick your backsplash. It was so nice to get the paint right there. All on the edge, anyway. Um, and on the freaking stove. Anyway, so yeah. Um, and so it was funny. It's a nice kitchen. We like it. We were big. A lot of space. Yeah. And then, what was that? 
Oh. And then thought it was a gift. We did get a nice sauce pantry, which is nice. Is that the way? Oh, the way. Oh, yeah. So, it's, I mean, it's definitely bigger than what we had at our last house. Mm -hmm. Probably the biggest we've ever had for our pantry. So, that's nice. Um, very nice. <laughs> what was that? And then. Maybe like turn around for some season. Once again, it's like the living room area. And if you go over to the right, it's the dining room area, which is nice. And then right here is the bathroom. Um, we are facing the street, but it's okay. So got crunchy brown grass. Hopefully, it'll, it'll get together. Oh, you know, them leaves going to be really annoying, man. I yeah. Can see it now. Rainy day today. It's not a great, it's not a really good nice day. And then, oh, you can see that they're doing, they're still, this is also done over there. They didn't think that they Nah. They must have got to come back. Because he wants to paint that. Can you show me the whole yard? Y'all don't agree, but it's all right. Wanted to have the bay window, so we got that. Um, which is actually going to be nice for when the baby's in here, we'll have the extra space on the side until she moves to her own room. And then, um, the package that we chose came with the, the fan in the bedroom, but we're probably going to change that. Yeah, we're going to like, change that. Um, I like the Harriet Tubman fan, yeah, is it? I don't know where we have it now, though. And, we also opted for the double doors into the bathroom. I thought it looked more fancy. Uh, very nice little little upgrade. They even like all the hinges are missing hay and stuff. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so um, this is the bathroom. Um, we upgraded to get the separate tub and shower, the regular one just was the um, the bigger the bigger shower and we really wanted to have well I really wanted to have a tub um, and we also upgraded for the metal sinks instead of one sink which is over here on the show we do we upgraded for double sinks or double vanity and we also upgraded for the elongated toilet just because we got used to that at the house the shower is here. Um, there's the, I mean, we could have got the towel shower, but we just didn't want to spend the money on it right now. Um, and personally, I think it looks better. What towel? No, no, this no, one? You know, yeah, all I actually think it's really nice, like the little standard kind, it has a shelf and everything. So that'll work for a while until we want to upgrade the car. The only thing I think is weird is like, I like the bathroom. It's like, I mean, like the closet is past the bathroom. You gotta go through the bathroom and get some clothes. Normal, though, it was like that outhouse. Not an outhouse, but out in Texas it is. And then if we have the closet, like you were saying, we didn't even get that paint up there either. Nope. They make me really regret this even more. Should have given them a worse cylinder. Anyway, so yeah, this is closet. It's um, it's a really good size closet, but we definitely want to get some built ins because we feel like this isn't the best use of the space these wire racks. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And then I think that's, that's everything. And we just um, literally been working on this house for a million years and finally got in here. We want to be excited, but it's so hard because we've been waiting for so long. But yeah, that's pretty much 
pretty much it. Um, we'll be getting stuff moved in tomorrow. See what it looks like with furniture.